The hockey playoffs are finally here, and the Concordia Stingers are buzzing to make some postseason noise for the first time since March 2020, where they finished a disappointing fourth in the conference before the pandemic ended the U Sports hockey season. Concordia finished the COVID shortened regular season with nine wins, five losses, and one defeat by way of a shootout, but played only 15 games following several unprecedented cancellations during the winter semester. Concordia hockey fans have plenty to be excited about. The Stingers are 5 and 2 since the season resumed in mid February. The offense ranks 5th in the conference in goals per game with 3.6, and their 23.5% power play is second only to Queens. Stingers head coach Marc Andre Elemont and second year center Tyler Highland, who shares the team's lead in total points with 15, took some time to reflect on the unique challenges of this season ahead of the playoffs. We've been out without playing for a while, and now. Uh... The guys that want to compete and they're competing every game and uh, yeah, it's great. And I think the guys, they, uh, they bought into our, our, our game plan and the fact that uh, a lot of guys are, are blocking shots or paying the price, so that, that's going to be key when we're going to head to the playoffs. And uh, you have to make adjustment when, depending on the team that you're playing against. So we made a few adjustments and you know what, at the end of the day, you can make all the adjustments that you want. If you're not competing, if you're not going all out, well, you're going to have an issue. But so the guys tonight, I find they competed, they battled hard. Uh, we're going to have a couple bruises with block shots and all that, and that's what, that's what we want, that's what we ask, and uh, they deliver it, so that's great. Isaiah Campbell is a first-year guy, and he's competing every night. Uh, he's unbelievable. He's been unbelievable since the beginning of the season, and uh, he's, uh, he's doing a great job playing with uh, Ireland and Katerinakis. Um, also, Maxim Trepani is doing an awesome job, too, offensively. He's doing uh, pretty well. So. Uh, but there's a lot of guys, uh, there's a lot of guys that uh, impressed me and I'm really happy about what I'm seeing right now. I think it was, uh, I don't want to say disappointing, but definitely it sucks to lose time, uh, you know, with the, the whatever couple month delay. Nobody was ready, ready to, to stop playing hockey again, especially after not playing last year. Mm -hmm. So I think that was, that was kind of disappointing. And we also lost a few guys. Um, which hurts just you know it sucks to see guys leave we're we're good buddies with all the all the guys on the team uh, you know we, we get close over the year and you know I, we all understand that guys got to do what's best for them but you know losing uh important players on the team it, it hurts and uh, you know it just means that guys got to step up and i think you know the in the last since we came back uh the guys have stepped up and they've done a great job filling filling holes and you know we just got to keep keep that mentality and just keep playing that way um you know when you don't play very much you kind of you know, you miss your timing, you miss the feel of the game and, you know, just getting that back, especially, you know, in the first half, I think I played six games um, after not playing a full year. So it's, it's, it takes time to get that kind of stuff back. So just working in the last bit of the season to, to get that timing back, get that feel back, get the confidence on the ice back, that's the number one thing I'm looking for. And I can tell, like, every game we play, it's just getting better and better for, for me and the whole team as well. Everyone's feeling better more confident and uh, we've come a long way since the beginning of the season. The Stingers will host the Ontario Tech Ridgebacks in the OUA East quarterfinals at Ed Meager Arena on Wednesday at 7.30pm. Liam Sharp, The Concordian, Montreal.